Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last year, as I posted, Microsoft deprecated WordPad in Windows, which means the WordPad app, which is a legacy component of Windows, will not be getting any more updates and improvements and so on. Now, with the rollout of Windows 11 24H2 yesterday on the 1st of October, which is the start of a controlled rollout of the of this year's annual feature update. Just to give you a quick heads up, because I have posted on this previously, but just a quick heads up that Microsoft now has removed WordPad in Windows 11 version 24H2. So if you're looking for it after upgrading, maybe you've updated it already and you're not finding it, that's the reason why. Microsoft says this, and I'm quoting, WordPad is removed from all editions of Windows starting in Windows 11 version 24H2 and Windows Server 2025. We recommend Microsoft Word for rich text documents and Windows Notepad for plain text documents. So that's the reason why. And this is just the ongoing deprecation of legacy features like Cortana, WordPad, and there's a whole other couple of features that they have deprecated over the last year uh, in both Windows 10 and Windows 11, which I actually think is a good thing. Um, a lot of these apps are not really used on a regular basis anymore. So just kind of doing a bit of a house clean uh, in Windows, especially in Windows 11. Now, something to take note of. You may be asking the question, why have you got WordPad open? Because I, I upgraded to Windows 11 24H2 um, yesterday. And my reason for still having WordPad is because although Microsoft has removed it, as I have posted previously, you can restore it. And I showed you in a video I posted back in June how you can restore WordPad's core app files back into the accessories folder inside the Windows NT folder in the C drive where you can work on WordPad and you can launch WordPad even if you are running Windows 11 24H2. And that video will be linked down below and in the end screen because I go through a whole walkthrough. I don't want to regurgitate that whole video, so go check that out. But just a quick recap. If we head into my file explorer, you will see here uh, I have backed up the folder for WordPad. Now, it's not actually called WordPad, but I just renamed it WordPad. And this was buried deep in Windows 11 23H2 before I moved over to 24H2, as I mentioned in that video. So if you are already on 24H2 and want to restore WordPad, then go check that video out because I've left a link to where you can get access in my cloud storage over on my Google Drive where you can actually access this folder with the core WordPad files uh, that are actually found still in that folder. So go check that out. So that's how you can restore it. And when WordPad is removed, something else to take note of. If I head to my folder here where... I had files that were dependent on WordPad. You can see they've lost all the dependency now on WordPad. So if you haven't got Word installed or an equivalent um, third-party app to open up um, rich text documents, as an example, then you will not have the ability to open up a file that previously was being opened with WordPad. Now, what I do is I just right click and I head to show more options and I say view online because these are linked to OneDrive and I don't have any, any office or anything like that directly installed on my Windows devices. So go check that video out. It's actually quite easy to restore it, but just giving you a quick heads up. If you have upgraded to Windows 11 24H2, WordPad is no more, but you are able to restore it as mentioned. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.